Hello everyone. Today I have another throwback video for you and this one involves everyone's favorite pack, my wedding stories. If you missed the sarcasm in my voice, that was sarcastic. Okay. Most people hate this pack, but I like this build. I've used this build as a wedding venue and it worked pretty well. So it was designed to help minimize the issues that some of the other wedding venues had. So I was really excited that I still had this video because this is one that I actually thought I lost. Apparently I need to go through my computer more often because I actually found a few more this morning. And some of them I've actually posted before, but they weren't... I didn't do voiceovers. I think I just did like music in the background and a speed build. So if you'd like me to redo those with a voiceover, let me know in the comments below. All right. Also, just while I'm at it, make sure to like the video and subscribe so that you'll see these future videos. All right. So back to the build. What... I wanted to create, of course, was a wedding venue that would actually work with all the bugs. My wedding stories is still kind of buggy. However, this worked fairly well. I tried to minimize distractions. So there's not a lot of non-wedding activities. And if you do things correctly and hire a few people, it should keep your sims from trying to play with things they shouldn't be, okay? So I did create a venue that is really just for the wedding reception. Um, it's not like a honeymoon on top of or any of that. So there is a small little like, I'm going to call it like a bride's room that you see in a lot of wedding venues it's just a place for the bride to get ready sometimes they have them for the grooms too this one does not but i just thought it was a nice little touch and really for me in my mind with this build it's just a place for somebody to go and nap or whatever if needed <laughs> because we know how that works you get into the wedding and somebody gets sleepy so at least that's been my experience so anyway, that's the upstairs is kind of that lounge area. And down in the bottom, I created the reception area. So this is an outdoor wedding venue. However, if you need to, it's probably pretty easy to cover up the actual, like, you know, wedding area if you needed to. I haven't tried it, but I'm thinking you could probably just pull that upper level balcony area right over it if it was raining during your wedding so just don't take pictures that show above it'll be fine okay so here I'm just kind of figuring out exactly size wise what I want to do I really wanted there to be this entry with the stairs and I knew I wanted somewhat of an open area there as well. So that's kind of what I'm figuring out here. At least I believe. I did not watch these videos beforehand. I kind of glanced and edited a little bit, but I can't remember exactly what I did. I do remember the bathroom moves, so... I put it all here, it's all pretty, and I move it later, but that's okay. So the other thing with this is, yeah, you will see me playing with the front, the sides, everything on this. I had a general idea of how I wanted the layout to be, and then it's just kind of tweaking it here and there. That's normally what I do. So if you've watched my other videos, you know this is, this is normal for me. And I want to stress, when you're building, don't feel like you have to stick with the original floor plan. Change it up. Move things around a little bit 
and tweak it because that's going to create a build that you actually love. First one that you like. And for me, like this build, I'll be honest, this balcony area, I really just put there because there was the, you know, kind of walkway area below it. I don't do much of anything. I think there's a bench that sits out there. And it's more of, again, trying to limit where Sims can go and what they can do. If, you know, it wasn't so glitchy when it came to that, uh, I probably would have put a little more into this build. But being said, it still works really well. And, you know, you can have just like a party here and have your Sims get married if you don't want to do the whole wedding thing. So it set up really well for that as so. So yeah, now as you can see, I'm still trying to figure out windows and all that. And then this area, I do replace that sofa. I don't know. No, I do know. Cause I replaced the sofa after like, I, I just replaced the sofa probably like last week. <laughs> But I can't remember if I replace it and then put it back. I thought that's what I saw, but I could be wrong. The other thing is the lighting here. I did open that entryway, so it goes all the way up well, to an extent. There, It's not completely open. But the lighting is weird. It would not let me put any chandeliers or anything on the second story to hang down in that area. So... If you notice that, which you probably will now that I've mentioned it, but it just wouldn't let me. I don't know why. No idea. So the other thing is the door changes a few times, not just now. And windows change. I, I move things around. I believe even when I went back in to check out this build, I changed a few things. One of those is actually this area here. It does go through a few iterations. And really it's just me yeah, trying to make sure there's enough space for everything I want to put inside because I had plenty of space outside. So you can see I'm just kind of playing with, you know, floor plans again. But I do change in the final upload lot the the plants behind the waterfall that I put in eventually just because I like how it looked much better than what was there I'm not sure if I changed that when I use this as a wedding venue or not but I like it so it works so here I did, this isn't a big wedding venue. It, it's not for a lot of Sims, but you can have, you know, a decent amount here because we know they never sit down anyway to eat or any of that. So it really doesn't matter how, how many bowls and chairs you have. But I didn't, yeah, I didn't plot in. I do close off the dining area a little bit more than what it is here and at a bar so that'll be coming up yeah so I kind of jump here you can see me playing with this upper level a little bit and just trying to kind of fill everything in and get this all situated the roof on the other thing I did do recently is change the roof color I did that last week when I opened this up to do pictures and all that so the roof color changes. You'll see those in, that in the final build. And it was more to allow it to blend in a little bit more into the world. Or not even blend in, but match the rest of the world a little bit. It does stay this tile. I just change it to the orange. And then it also kind of makes it pop a little bit more. So, so yeah, I I like it better. I don't know why I had it so dark before. I've been doing a lot of bland builds. I go in spurts, and I think this was during one of those spurts where they were just kind of like very beigey and neutral-ish. But 
it's still pretty. So, yeah. All right, and then here I do notice the, the front area looks a little funny. I don't know if I fix that in the build or not, or in the build video or not. I do fix that when I went to upload it because it was still like that when I got into it last week so yeah I fixed that 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 looks much better now all right so the other thing is what I found when I used this was you know definitely set it up as like a wedding venue even or you know a private type thing, you know, somebody's house, whatever, move somebody into it if you need to. If you're not going to use the wedding venue, because Sims just show up. I wanted to play test a couple things. In fact, you'll see a cool little video I did for the end later. And I just kept having Sims show up randomly and that drove me nuts. So, yeah, that's the other problem. I think if it's a wedding venue and you book the wedding venue, nobody should show up that is not part of your wedding party. All right, I know. I mean, technically there's wedding crashers, so I guess it's realistic. So. But anyway, here, you know, my normal putting in lighting, making sure it looks good, some landscaping. Because really most of the build is, you know, kind of done. Like I said, it's a very minimalistic type build. Oh. So here, just figuring out bushes, all this fun stuff. I did change some of this landscaping when I played in it. Oh. So that'll be different in the upload because I didn't upload this to the gallery before I played in it or any... I, yeah, you know, I still haven't uploaded it to the gallery as a recording. So it will be up before this video goes live. But I did change a little bit of that and just added in some, you know, extra little things. The lighted tree there moves. You'll you'll see all this in the pictures. So I also added some more trees because I didn't do that in the original build. And then here I know these are outdoor pieces, and I know that you're supposed to put those outside, but I tend to put them inside a lot, and I don't know why. I just like the way they look in general. I think we need some more furniture that has that look that's indoor. But yeah, this is kind of that cozy area. What I did when I had my sim get married here is I locked that door for everybody but, like, her. And I think I did her and her mom because that was all that was. It was just her and her mom, family-wise. But, and so I locked that door to everybody else, and that seemed to work really well. But so they could still come up here and enjoy the piano and all that. I hired a pianist and also hired a bartender. So that kept all my Sims from trying to play the piano and, you know, work at the bar. So that was that was helpful. All right. So we are just kind of adding in some flowers because, of course, it's a wedding venue. I also did not put curtains in any of this, I believe. Maybe in that room, but I'm pretty sure the rest of the windows are all just open. And that's just because it needed light. It, I believe I tried and I edited it out on this top floor to put curtains in and it just got way too dark. So I left those off and it's just nice. And really looking at it, you know, if you were in this building, you wouldn't want a bunch of curtains blocking your view, right? All right. So here is the finished product. You can see I added some trees, 
Add in a couple windows at the bottom level, things like that. Just little things that, I don't know, made it look a little bit better. There's more landscaping. Uh, yeah, when I got into this, I really realized that I, yeah, I didn't finish this build really well. So, yeah. All right, I'm going to let you guys take a look at the pictures, and I'd love to know what you think of this build in the comments. Alright guys, so here's my cute little video. I had added fireflies and all that when I had my sim get married here. So I wanted to show that off to you guys. Alright, I do also want to add that in the reception area, I did add windows in the corner. Those weren't in that picture, but I did add them after that. So there's windows there now. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this build. I had a lot of fun building it and reminiscing on it. I do hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!